Okay, I'm sorry it took a little too long to actually make a second video after the big uh, ticket sale for DC Talk, but here I am. Um, so just a, I guess a small review of the whole ticketing process. Um, I don't know, maybe this is like, or what it's like for other cruise line uh, ticket purchases. Again, I from the last video I said, I've never been even been on a cruise, so that was a different experience. But, um, you know, I, I had it up for, I guess, about, you know, 15 minutes before, and I created an account for uh, Premier, uh, I guess the company that's putting on this cruise, um, and I set that all up just before ticketing uh, went on sale, or tickets went on sale. And, uh, from what I can tell, you know, as soon as it hit 7.30, it was up and running. So, uh, you know, logged in, put down that I had two guests, and then went to the next page that would show what tickets were available. And I only had three options, three options, and they weren't even, uh, you know, I didn't see any of the lower rung options at that point. And a lot of the higher rung options were gone too, so. Um, that was kind of different. I, I was kind of confused at that point. Um, but there was one option that looked a little bit lower comparatively, I guess. And so chose that one. Uh, and uh, when I got to the next page, uh, I actually realized that the way I was thinking about the pricing was completely wrong. Um, the <laughs> Uh, so, you know, the one I chose was, you know, uh, a certain amount, but then uh, there was a totally different amount for my wife. So that was kind of, uh, that kind of caught me off guard. Um, and that's not including like the extra $260 for other fees and stuff that they add per person. So in essence, um, I paid... Uh, a lot more than I expected uh, for that those tickets um, and my wife might not be able to come anyway so we'll see what happens but uh, you know I might end up uh, changing the guests that I bring with me or something like that maybe somebody know but um, but either way uh, you know just totally wasn't expecting that and uh, I later came to find out after kind of looking at their uh, official DC Talk web page and everything that, or uh, Facebook page, that they were saying that, you know, whenever uh, somebody is even just looking at a particular uh, room, uh, their system basically holds that room. And so it may, it, it basically takes it off the table. And so you only see what is not being held. And when I say being held, that means it's being held for like you know, 30 minutes um, before it gets released back into the general ticket population. Um, the other issue that um, that I had was, you know, there was some confusion on the website itself as to, you know, if you're buying a ticket for your, you know, for somebody else that um, and that's traveling or whatever. And I, I checked off some box, whatever the case. I could not, you know, get past a certain screen at one point, and I was freaking out um, because it was, you know, they had a, a countdown timer on uh, the right side, kind of counting down for how long your reservation is held, and so I was freaking out about that. But, um, like, you know, luckily, I kind of, uh, I had made that account. I went to my account page and saw that I still had that open reservation, and I was able to kind of edit it to where. Um, I could get through so that freaked me out but you know I got it um, again not too happy about having to pay that much to see these guys um, even though I'm, I'm a super fan I really you know I'm gonna be excited I am excited but like you know about midway through the day it started to hit me up and you know about the, the cost of it all and I'm like did I really spend that much on this? So I don't know. Um, I think, you know, after thinking about it, it'll be well worth it uh, just with the lineup that they have, um, especially, you know, with Newsboys being there and Toby Mac doing some stuff and uh, Kevin Max, of course, with his solo stuff, um, which I can't wait to really hear because I'm uh, 
like from what I've heard so far from for his newest album that's coming out, um, like it really has that kind of '80s flavor, uh, rock, uh, pop um, that I really like, and so big fan of that and that style um, that he, he kind of brings to the table. Um, not to mention that voice. So I'm really excited to see you know what each of them do, and you know. Uh, Whatever the case, um, I'm sure, I'll, you know, if my wife can't come, I'll bring somebody, but uh, I think it's going to be something very memorable. So, um, you know, once again, I guess my final thoughts are I, I hated, hated, uh, you know, paying this much, but um, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I wanted to be able to get a chance to do this, and there's been several concerts now. I haven't been to a Toby Mac or a Newsboys concert or a Kevin Max concert in, you know, years. Uh, I think really the last time I saw any of these guys was on the solo tour, um, which, you know, again was, uh, man, that was back in like 2000, 2001, and so that was a very long time ago. So I figure, you know, I'm paying this much, but it's, you know, mostly because I haven't been able to go to you know, several of these concerts for all of them. Um, and so I think it'll be well worth it. But um, either way, you know, uh, I guess I'll leave it at that. But, uh, you know, this is just a, a video that I wanted to do just to kind of, just because one, I, I am a fan of DC Talk and uh, even their solar, solo careers. Um, but uh, I just kind of wanted to put something out there, you know, just my thoughts on it. And if you enjoyed, you know, seeing that, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, or, you know, if you think I can improve on some of the stuff I put out there as far as my thoughts on things such as this, uh, you know, give me some comments and give me some feedback, negative or positive. I really don't mind and I really enjoy the feedback. So, um, I'm not going to really do too many of these types, uh, especially of a long shot of me just sitting here talking to the camera like this, but um, hopefully we'll see some different stuff in the future. I am planning on putting out more and more videos, so hope you subscribe, hope you like the video, and I'll talk to you soon.